Over the last three years, we've worked with Keppel in three ways to drive innovation. First, through insights and knowledge sharing, second, through co-investments, and third, through network introductions. Working with Keppel, we've shared and partnered together to dive into relevant strategic topics. We think that many uh, ambitions uh, of the business units can also be de-risked with EDB support. So innovation can take place in many forms. It can take place in the form of a corporate venture. It can take the uh, form of an innovation team uh, at uh, Keppel. And it can also take the form of uh, ecosystem partnership outside of Keppel. Because ultimately, innovation is not just an individual sport, it's a team sport. Both of us have the challenging spirit. The both uh, group from the leadership all the way to the working group, everybody is excited when we're seeing the way to challenge how we are operating or we are doing stuff as it today. But we're also asking why, why not? KI at Changi actually features a lot of uh, innovative new solutions. High-efficient chilled water system, solar PV, EV charging, and many more, showcasing our flagship EAAS, a one-stop low-carbon solution suite. Building our intelligent uh, ops center at our KI at Changi, uh, we partnered uh, with a local SME and startup to co-develop the solutions. First of all, we believe that our future data centers needs to solve the problems that our government as well as our customers are facing. And we believe that the only way that we can solve these problems is to innovate the way that we build and power our data centers. This project, uh, Bifrost Cable Project, is cable that's going from Singapore all the way to US. So if you have to deal with multiple jurisdictions, you need to have those capabilities and expertise in place. So with this partnership, we are able to get that like, you know, get it done rightly at first time. So what we do is basically creating, you know, a blend of both a physical real estate and also the online tech world, uh, fusing all of these stuff together into our uh, products, which essentially used to be just purely real estate, but now it's gone beyond a real estate. I think most experiments fail. That's something that, that we need to be very comfortable with stepping into this world. Those fail because you want to get to the right answers. And I think it takes a lot of grit, perseverance, respect, uh, and that willingness to share. What failures not to repeat, obviously, uh, what new learnings uh, we have garnered from past experiences, what similarities there are across business units. I think innovation is a very important uh, aspect that I want to consider when it comes to my future. And to me, innovation really is about looking at the different problems that we face with fresh eyes. I would say for my future career, I want to be part of a an organization that actually practices innovation to the fullest. I think decarbonization at scale requires bold and decisive investment behind capital project that will make a difference. I think internal partnership uh, has been very important for us and so this is trying to break down the silos within the organization. Real intentional effort that's bubbling up from the ground. Right, between marketing teams, between product teams, across different BUs, right, all attempting to do better for the customer. We're encouraging the entrepreneurial spirit. You know, if you can do it, let's figure out how we can fund it, and there we go. You can think very openly about things and not be afraid of failure. Uh, besides the big wins that we can get, uh, every day, the little wins that we can get, I think that's very good in terms of building towards the innovation journey. I think innovation, as you say, is a really something that is a, is a very people-driven and you can't really put a software to it. Uh, must be willing to try new things, must be willing to fail, must be willing to... seems to be a bit crazy at times, and not afraid to be labelled as crazy. And, and eventually, uh, the crazy ideas are probably the one that will give you the breakthrough, needle-moving kind of uh, innovative project. The reality is that if you're not digital, you're dead. It's like saying that I have a lovely uh, Ferrari car with an engine of a 1942 Fiat. I mean, it's not going to work. Uh, so, so you have to, your engine has to change, your, your car has to change, and your driver has to be good. Uh, that's, that's really the transformation of people. Uh, that we are going through as well. As they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. 
So I think in the process, I think it is very much in the DNA of capital rights. No incumbent is safe, right? Even the technology companies themselves are also being disrupted. Right? So I think in that kind of world, I would say that capital rights are quite well uh, placed because, uh, you know, we're used to it. <laughs>、you know, this cultural change of willing to accept、uh, ideas, not just from within, but from outside, creating a culture of more openness amongst teams to talk about things, that is a huge change in capital. And that's the one that's going to make the difference、uh, going forward. Innovation. 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 Innovation.